Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching The Thin Red Line. What do you know about this movie? This is a war film. It's been very highly recommended to us. Yeah. We've done a ton of war films on the channel. We say that every time we do a new one. There's a whole playlist of them that we've seen, but neither of us have seen this one. No, I've heard about it a lot. I think it came out the same year as Saving Private Ryan which is considered one of the greatest war movies of all time, maybe even greatest just movie in general of all time. So I think it got heavily overshadowed, at least that's what everyone tells us. So I'm expecting a great war film. We've seen a lot of them, like you said on the channel, different variety in, in them, mm -hmm. whether they're heroic or inspirational or depressing. It is a very favorite genre of mine. So I'm excited to check out something that we haven't seen before. I'm excited just because of how recommended this has been. So war films generally are pretty sad. <laughs> yeah. So I'm assuming it's gonna be a rough watch, but I'm excited to watch it. Yeah, and this is a very long movie. This is post baby. Yeah. So we do have a little newborn. So we will likely be watching this in pieces. So if our outfits suddenly change halfway through or multiple times, it's because we can only go a certain stretch before we have to attend to our child. Yeah. <laughs> Regardless, super excited. Yeah. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. What's this war in the heart of nature? Why does nature vie with itself? Everything's so peaceful and Is there an pretty. Power in nature? This is a game? I think so. Doesn't feel like a war film. No. I remember my mother when she was dying. I asked her if she was afraid. I heard people talk about immortality, but I ain't seen it. I wondered how it would be when I died. I just hope I can meet it the same way she did. Very artistic. Yeah, very artistic film so far. I wonder if this is post a bunch of fighting or he hasn't had a lot of fighting yet. Yeah. Or are they like deserters or something? Because there's only a few of them here and this doesn't seem like some sort of like military outpost or something. <laughs> they seem very welcoming of them. Mm -hmm. Feels like ominous. Like, yeah. It's like everything was just like this like peaceful village and now all of a sudden reality is coming. Wait. Patrol boat. She's American. Yeah, so they are hiding, I think. What's he doing out here all alone? I wonder if like stuff went horribly wrong for them and they were like the only two survivors for their whatever platoon or squad or whatever and then yeah. they just were like fuck that we're not going back oh whoa sean penn you haven't learned a thing how many times you've been AWOL? i'm sending you to a disciplinary outfit you'll be taking care of the wounded i can take anything you dish out i'm twice the man you are damn well why do you keep going AWOL? in this world a man himself is nothing and there ain't no world but this one. I've seen another world. We're living in a world that's blowing itself to hell as fast as everybody can arrange it. I might be the best friend you ever had. You don't even know it. Hmm. That was an interesting conversation. Yeah. On like one point, I see it as like a peaceful world where he was at. Mm -hmm. But then on the other side, I see it as like he's just thinking about himself and he's given up on everyone else just to focus only on him. He hates you worse than poison. What a difference being in this dark, cramped boat. And nobody wants this island. The Japs just put an airfield there. As you can see, this is their road oh. to Australia. John Travolta? Yeah. We're going to stop the Japs' advance into the South Pacific. We've got to do it right there. The Marines have done their job. Now it's our turn. Nick Nolte? Okay. Brown knows the generals. And degraded myself for them. Sounds like we're going to get a lot of people's individual perspectives. Most men your age would have retired by now. It's okay. We need general officers with maturity and character like you. I feel like that was shitty. So goddamn hard to stay upright. 
There's always someone watching you. Always someone ready to jump in if you're not. That was not a pleasant conversation, no. I feel like. I just can't help how damn scared I am, Sarge, all right? We're probably going to die before we get off the beach. Whoa. Adrian. Brody. Brody. I think we're catching air raid. Down the hill, should I know? Damn, there's a lot of people in this. Mm -hmm. What do you want me to tell you? Your big help tells nothing. Tell me nothing. There's a lot of men on this. Just crammed in there. I'm on my way to get me that pistol. You wish you had one once we get ashore and run into some of them samurai sabers. Was he stealing it? Oh shit, I thought he was gonna get a pistol from like an enemy. This old Charlie Company's always getting screwed, always, and I can tell you whose fault it is too. Charlie Company. I'm trying to think, is that the people that we follow for the Pacific? Uh, yeah, I think so. Because they also took an airfield at some... So I wonder if it's like the similar story or something. Mm, yeah, yeah. How'd you end up a private? Because my wife. We'd never been separated before. Well, where is she now? He's home. Why should I be afraid to die? I belong to you. I was like muted. Yeah, muted. Chaos. I feel like we're like in the journals of these individual people. Mm-hmm. Is that Woody Harrelson? John C. Riley, maybe? It does look like him. It's crazy that I've never heard of this movie. There's right? so many people in it. So many. Yeah. It's like, now what? Charlie Company? Yeah. There'd be nothing there for at least about a week. About a week. Since the Japs must have hauled ass. They got fish that live in trees. Well, if they didn't know this beach was deserted, what else don't they know? Is nobody home? Maybe. Or well, they're all just waiting. Yeah. Looks terrifying. Yeah. The sound design in this movie is real interesting too. Mm -hmm. Just way too quiet. The creaking. Just like waiting for the something to happen. Yeah, I'm waiting for the first uh, shot to go off. Oh man. Everyone got real spooked right there. Or, or are they just falling? I thought they all like I thought it. they did too, but yeah, I think it's just uneven. Just like venturing into the unknown, but then this is like you can't even see. Right. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. The hell happened here? I would make sure the majority of people do not walk in an area to see that. Yeah. They're already all freaking out. I feel like we've been walking for like days. I was just thinking that. I was like, I wonder how much time's passed. I was gonna say that's where they were sending this guy, right? Yeah. We're going straight up that hill there. We can't do that, Colonel. The water's not getting up here. My men are passing out, sir. Only time you worry about a soldier is when he stops bitching. Hmm. Is there a shit out of luck on the water part? We're all gonna attack a breast through platoon and reserve. We gotta cross those three folds of ground. Once we get beyond that, we gotta attack that hill. Man, fighting uphill when you're already passing out from water for lack of. All right, when you get to the end of that field. To locate and eliminate all Is the that Jared Leto? On those ridges. Oh yeah. I'm sure the Jeb's got something there to protect the approaches. Oh. Silence. The silence and this just hidden gun waiting for you. They're about to get shredded. Let me not betray you. Let me not betray my men. Really struggling. Yeah. Everyone has their own issues. Two batteries of 105s. We won't make a dead net position, No, but it bucks the man up. So it won't do anything, but it gives your own men some confidence. Blowing the shit out of this hill. I'm going down in groups of 10, run all the way. I'm gonna take the first bunch myself. You go organize some guys that's up there. <coughs> Moving out in five minutes. They already look defeated and they haven't even started yet. Max, you go. I don't know, so I the game set up straight. I'm sick. <coughs> is he really sick or is this fear? Drop your gear, Seiko. I'm taking the medics. Back this off. Don't argue with me. Good luck, Kek. Was that just an excuse to leave and take him to the medics? That's what it kind of felt like. It's a good shot 
All of them just slowly moving through. Oh. Some smoke. That's cool. Just disappeared. Yeah. Who's going to be the first person to get shot? Yeah, they don't want to move. Oh, just like that, they both dead. I mean, there's a lot of them, but they have no idea what they're getting into. No, they can't even see anything. It's just a grassy hill. Wow, how long are they waiting there? Yeah, they're just not moving. Oh, oh kicked off. Jeez. Like, you can't even see anything. It's crazy, we haven't even seen an enemy yet. We already got eight or nine down there, we're not supposed to- God damn it, don't argue with me! Am I coming here or am I not? You got those that are hit bad, sir, that was all I meant. Everyone's hit bad. Sir, can I come back to the company after we get Jack? Get back to the tide? Keep moving! Keep moving! Oh, oh my man. god. Snakes also? Beautifully conceived! They haven't done anything. Children. I don't know, sir. How can you not know? Over. They've done literally nothing except for get slaughtered. I want you to get up there and see what the situation is. Move up. Damn, did like anything happen? I don't even know if anybody made it over. Yeah. Are we anywhere even closer to <clears throat> the objective? I like this shot of just like the grass and it's like back to no noise really. And there's probably just littered with dead bodies everywhere. Yeah. No, those are... I got him! His own men? Yeah, I thought that was like his own guys. You see them jabs leaving that left ridge? I killed a man nobody can touch me you for. say much of nothing. Look at your fucking head up and look around. Why would you get up? You just stay put. I'm ordering you. Still can't see anything. Yeah, I can't tell if there's actually people. There's definitely people over there, but it's like yeah. I can't see a person. Ooh. You can just see the flashes. Right. Oh shit. You want to throw us out here? Why? Why are they coming for us? Yes, yeah, so yeah. they're coming down. Yeah. They're coming. Oh man, they're still coming. Oh. Where is it? I blew my butt up. You ran my old lady. I wanted to know I died like a man. Like how bad? It, I mean, that was a grenade literally attached to him. I'm surprised he still has like a limb on. You didn't let your brother down. Yeah, if you hadn't thrown yourself against that embankment, we'd all be killed. That's true. Damn. What a way to die. Comforted him the best he could. What's wrong? Someone like waving them down? Yeah. They're either panicking or dying. There's nothing anybody can do for him. Can you get him to kill him all at once? Just kill him, maybe? I lost all 12. I lost all 12. He went up with 12 and lost them all? I'm moving now. But don't touch. Don't touch. Don't look at me. Don't touch. Okay, I'm out of here. It's like the, the fear and the panic is also like contagious. Mm -hmm. I remember that from like, oh, that was the medic. Jeez. Put me down. Put me down. Damn. What? What are you saying? Oh, I think he was saying goodbye. Does he know how to give that to himself? I'm gonna recommend you for the Silver Star. Yeah, you say one more word to thank me, I'm gonna knock you right in the teeth. Yeah, I feel like now's not the time. Property. What the fuck it thinks about property? I'm surprised they still have people to keep moving forward. They're getting hammered. I don't think you understand what's going on down here, sir. Heavy casualties. What about those reinforcements, over? Two squads? What the hell do you mean, two squads? Everyone else is dead. 
Go straight up that goddamn hill. You are tapped in right now. I believe the entire position, sir, can be outflanked with a maneuver there in force. He just wants him to go straight. You're not going to take your man around into the jungle to avoid a goddamn fight. This isn't even a fight. Yeah, it's a slaughter. Now attack, Staros. That's a direct order. I think he's going to say no. Sir, I must tell you that I refuse to obey your order. Whoa. I mean, he knows he would get all of his guys killed. This is not your fault, Jim. He's ordering you to. I want that frontal attack. I repeat my order. Over. Damn. I've lived with these men, sir, for two and a half years, and I will not order them all to their deaths. Over. Oh, got chills. Oh, man, now they're getting hammered in here. He's going? I want you to hold on until I get there. You get those men on the ridge. I'll move it. So he's coming here? Oh. That's like 16. Easy, son. I'm done. I... Okay. He can finally assess the situation for himself. Just send first platoon forward to the ridge, sir. How many of them are hit this time? Not one? We may take that ridge by nightfall. I think the ridge is quite away from being reduced, sir. At this point, he doesn't have anything to lose. Yeah. Just dirt. But just dirt. This guy broke a while ago. I mean, he's just looking at it as what it is. You're just fighting over dirt and grass. Take six men and go see what's up there. I will cover you best we can from down here. Got them all the way down there? I think so. This has been such an interesting battle because I have no idea what the fuck is going on or like where they're trying to go. I mean, it's very much like their perspective. Right. For a lot of these guys, I have no idea what's happening. So we don't know really what's happening. Yeah. Oh, sh they're very close. close. Look, they're about to come face to face. Oh, oh just birds. Yeah, that had to be like one of the closest we've seen so far. I'm going up alone. Just the like exhaustion of going uphill anyways. Come out. Come out where I am. It's way too quiet. Yeah. There we go. You can so many people. At least you can see now. Oh, Jeez. I was literally just about to say, how would they know to not shoot him? If we can reduce this bunker tomorrow, I think we can take this ridge. So I'm asking for volunteers. I'll be glad to, to go back up and lead the way. All right, John, I was hoping you'd say that. Go ahead, you'll be in command. A lot of volunteers. Air power for a thousand miles in every direction. Guadalcanal may be the turning point in the war. I do remember that name from the Pacific, Guadalcanal. Mm-hmm. How many men do you think it's worth? How many lives? I can't say, sir. He's gonna say all of them. Lives will be lost in your company, Captain. And if you don't have the stomach for it, now is the time to let me know. Interesting back and forth between those two. Yeah. Out of all of like the war movies we've seen, I don't really remember too many where it's like such a blatant pushback. Pushback if I'm not doing that. This army's gonna kill you. What difference you think you can make one single man in all this madness? If you die, it's gonna be for nothing. Damn. Interesting, because he made a difference. Sean Penn did, like, just by himself. He helped that one guy who was crying out for help. Look at me. I stand right up here and not one boy. Why? Someone needs to get that guy. We together. One being. It's kind of on these, like, seven guys to be able to take out these guns. So I feel like uh, Nick Nolte's character is going to want to attack regardless if they're successful or not. Yeah. John will be right behind you. If you can break through, we'll come pouring after. We'll charge you your whistle signal. Surprised he still didn't want to consider going around if it's just for the seven. Yeah. At least one of these guys, the guy, the flashback to the wife, at least he's been like right up there. Yeah. He knows what they're looking for. And kind of how to get there. Oof. Oh, wow. They're like right below it. Once the 81s. I plastered that rock. We're gonna crawl along for cover and then flank him to the right. 100 left hand, 200. You better be right with this call. They're right here. Is it empty? No, I don't think so. Left 25, drop 50. 
That is right there. I mean, they're getting them so slightly closer. Oh! Surprise is over. We can leave and pick him up on the way back if he's still alive. Is he dead? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, they're coming. Like they have no idea how many people are even up here. What are you doing? He's just going for it. Fall back! Fall back? He just ran forward. Oh. Man, he just saved them. Oh, fuck. Can you chuck a grenade in there? Don't miss. Oh, how'd they get on top? Oh, they're leaving the guns. Whoa. Oh, oh man, right God. there. Maybe more people didn't show up. They just somehow did this by themselves. Yeah, no, I don't think they did. I just didn't know how they got like up and around and back on top of the bunkers. The adrenaline has to wear off. That's a lot of prisoners. Where are their reinforcements now that they took this? They still had one guy who got shot right in the beginning. I know, it feels like this is a long time. Yeah, a long time without anyone else coming up. And this seems like a lot of prisoners to how many of them there are. Yeah, they only sent out seven guys. <laughs> I mean, these guys are not in good shape either. I want you to know that I'm purposely recommending you for something, John. About the water. If we don't get some water, to don't water. worry about water. Don't worry about water? I don't want anything to break up this attack of ours now that we have the momentum. You're not going to have momentum when people start collapsing. Yeah. And if some of the men pass out, why the hell, they'll just have to pass out. It's a good compromise. You see the spirit in these men? Well, I want to take advantage of that before something happens to sap their strength. I've waited all my life for this. This seems like a pretty bad person to have leading this. You've done a hell of a job, John. I'm going to make sure that you get everything, everything that you deserve. What about water? God damn it! I want three runners! Find water and get back here with it as fast as you there can! There we go. I mean, I do understand the idea of like, hey, we have a victory. Keep the momentum going, especially like it was so obvious how defeated everyone was mm -hmm. earlier. But then on the other hand, you need fucking water. You see many dead people. I know different than dead dogs. Let's get used to the idea. Quite a narration with just dead bodies on the floor. Are you righteous? Are you loved by all? Know that I was too. Oh man, that means they're gonna get up close and personal. Very suspenseful with like that ticking of the clock. Yeah. Sound, sound design. The sound in this has been incredible. I feel like they're gonna like walk right into each other. Oh. What was that? It's getting closer. Oh, you can just barely see shadows. Shot somebody. Oh, oh man. Jeez. Oh wow, we just like jumped way ahead into this fight, I feel like. Jeez, just running through. So many. Oh my gosh. Wow. There's no cover or anything. Like, this is just the most like out in the open gunfight. Damn, people are just dropping everywhere. Are they up in the trees? Man. Jeez. These shaky shots are crazy. This whole scene, just like running through this village with the music. And it's not like it's like one line and here's the other line. Like they were literally all mixed with each other. See them birds up there? They're gonna eat you raw. Damn, yeah, he's just pulling teeth. That was an intense fight. Yeah. 
having memories of the uh, island he was on. Staros, I'm relieving you of your command. Wow. Not surprised. You're too soft. You're just too soft-hearted. You're not tough-fibered enough. I feel like his decision saved a lot of lives. They were able to take that little area with just seven guys instead of just sending everyone to get slaughtered. I don't like to see my men get killed, sir. Especially when offering an alternate. For reasons of ill health. You had malaria yet? No, I haven't. Doesn't matter. Whoa. Also recommending you for the Silver Star. Might as well have the Purple Heart, too. The quieter we keep this, the better it'll be for all. Wow. So he wants him the hell out of here, but he's going to try to set him up with something else. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't want him to say anything. Right, he doesn't want to be like, I disobeyed shit orders. We're to be relieved by a battalion of the division's reserve regiment. A week's rest off the line. Wow. Talk about morale. Yeah. It's interesting. He plays like this grizzled, senior, like hardened warrior type of person. But then this is his first war. And that was a real good point there. It was like, have you even had anyone die in your arms? Like, sure, you're out here, but you're walking up after everything's already over. You know, and as great as it was that things did clear up up on the hill by the time he got up there. Yeah. It also wasn't because then he didn't actually get to see what they were seeing. Yeah, right? He showed up and he's like, yeah, everything seems fine to me. And he's preaching about strength and do you have what it takes and all that stuff. And he he's not in the thick of it. <laughs> They're so drastically different from when we first saw all these guys. You wanted to thank you, sir. Watching out for us. Keeping us together. Didn't go unnoticed by them. Right. I feel like you got a rotten deal. The tough part is uh, not knowing if you're doing any good. That's the hard part. Save them. I'm glad to be going. What does that mean, sir? It means you've been like my sons. True leader. War don't ennoble men. Turns them into dogs. Poisons the soul. All oh, his teeth? I didn't even realize that was the same guy. It's probably like, what the fuck was I doing? My dear wife. I want to come back to you, the man I was before. Who lit this flame in us? No war can put it out, conquer it. Oh, man. Is this their home base? I think so. It's a matter of luck whether or not you get killed. I don't care about nothing anymore. Sounds like bliss. I don't have that feeling yet. I haven't touched another woman since I was called up. Like the only thing that's keeping him going. Thinking about her? Yeah. Dear Jack, I've met an Air Force captain. Whoa, what? I want a divorce to marry him. He's fantasized about her this entire time. Wow. What a letter. It just got too lonely, Jack. We'll meet again someday. No. Help me leave you. And she's leaving him for someone else who's in the military? What happens when he goes away? I mean, like 20% of this movie has been flashbacks to her. These moments of, like, too quiet <laughs> right. freak me out. What's your name? Very afraid of them. They leave you here? Yep. Got plenty of ammo. I'm out of this war for good, Wit. Damn, I think this is the guy from The Mist, Thomas Jane. Well, you give all them boys my best. You come with me if you want. No, nah, it's nice and quiet. Peaceful up here. There'll be somebody long. I... Don't know about that. Doesn't really seem like he wants to leave. Right? Just wants to stay up here injured. He's got to be going through it, thinking about his ex-wife. Hey, Wit. Who are you making trouble for today? Why do you always make yourself out like a rock? One day I come up and talk to you. By the next day, like we never even met. I feel like because he keeps trying to like be numb. Mm -hmm. Like some of the other guys. I wonder how they'll be back in battle after being down there for so long. Mm -hmm. Just kind of away from it all. I think we just need to send somebody up there and find out how close they are. Send somebody out there and find out where that line is being cut. Is this the new leadership? I think so. You. You go. You? Good luck, Wit. You okay, Fire? 
Don't think Adrian Brody has said anything. I don't think he has. He's just kind of been always in the back with like wide eyes. It's crazy how difficult it is to just see anything. Mm -hmm. Oh. That's a lot more. I thought the first few people that we were seeing were uh, yeah. these guys. We need to go back. Tell Luke that. How do you get back without being seen? Ooh. Oh, they're right there. Oh. They're just sitting ducks, exactly like they said. One of us needs to stay here. Hold them off. Seems like suicide. We'll be all right. My friend here doesn't have long. You go on ahead. Quickly. Damn, he just has to silently die. He still needs to make it back successfully. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't know if he's going to make it back. They're coming. We gotta go. I don't want you to be afraid. Oh. Where's Coons? Get back. Get back. They're coming. Say it louder. Five. Where's Whip? They sent the one guy who doesn't speak. Is he taking them a different direction though? I think so. Oh shit. Yeah, he's surrounded. Oh. All these flashbacks have just like been terrible. He'll never go back to that village and the wife one, obviously. Was a huge loss. Yeah. He's ready and in shape to make Reveille and carry out. Sounds like George Clooney. No, <laughs> he does. It I is George Clooney. Oh my myself God. As a family man, and that's what we all are here, whether we like it or not. They just keep coming, one after another. A lot of bodies. Getting off. Where is it that we were together? Who were you that I lived with? The brother. Oh my soul, look out through my eyes, all things shining. All right, that was the thin red line. What'd you think? That was beautiful. Yeah, there was a lot of interesting stuff about that movie. In the intro, I think we talked about how we've seen a lot of war movies on the channel and they've all had a lot of distinct styles and like a lot of differences to them, even though you're covering essentially the same topic. This is by far the most different, I feel like, than anything we've seen so far in terms of a war film. I agree. The movie is obviously extremely long. Yeah. So I think we're able to cover a lot in the film. There were so many moments that were, you know, just scenery or just animals. And I feel like having juxtaposition in the film against like the war background and with the sound design and the music that was in it, it just really made for something completely different yeah super unique and I, I think that's totally it i mean the movie is long it feels long you have a lot of time seemingly doing nothing you're just kind of stuck there in this like island so i don't know if that's like what the the feeling was going for but there was so many times where it would either make me be like, wow, this is really beautiful in terms of like where they are or something. Or it would be like, wow, this is really haunting because everything is so calm and nature and peaceful. And you know, this is how the island was, but there's violence and fighting, like just waiting to pop off at any second. A scene that, that really stuck with me was like these like shots of like the grassy hill. Mm -hmm. That was like the main focal point of one of our battles. Mm -hmm. The one scene where they all like go down and they yeah. just disappear and it just goes back to just being a grassy hill. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's something intentional. It's just like obviously combined with all of the nature and stuff. It's like what we're doing is I guess maybe not important or something like I can't really word it very well. I got the same feeling when we watched All Quiet on the Western Front. Mm -hmm. Kind of like how that one guy who said was like, what are we doing? Like we're fighting over dirt and grass here or something. It's just like all of this chaos, all of this death, it can all happen, but then it's just going to get covered up by nature and it's just going to go back to 
what it was. Yeah, it feels like in, insignificant, Yeah, I guess. Obviously in the grand scheme of things, there's a lot happening and there's a lot of moving parts. But when you like come down to just these men, what are we doing? Yeah, I, I feel like everything's isolated just on this island, obviously. Mm -hmm. So it just gave a lot of weird feelings that I haven't gotten from other war films. It was also, because it was so long, I felt like things moved at whatever pace it wanted to like that attack on that hill it felt so long and it and it was frustrating because it's like i didn't even know where are we going like i know they said like you know attack the hill and get to the top essentially but it's like the way that it was shot and the way that it would be cut up by you know men just like staying still and having conversations or we were jumping all over the place. Like there was no way to really grasp what the hell was going on. And I feel like, again, maybe that's intentional because all of these guys, they just get thrown into it and they don't know what the fuck is happening. Like they look and it looks like a normal grassy hill. And then all of a sudden explosions and shots are coming. Yeah. And I think we had mentioned it during the film is it felt so mysterious and chaotic. And then you see these men and you either have like the guys that are running like right into it and then many of them are just getting killed like right away. Yeah, it was a slaughter. Right, or you have these faces of these absolutely terrified, some of them look like kids. So I don't want to say just men in general, but a lot of them also just look like kids yeah. and they're panicking or they're not moving. They're staying in place. Or there was the one guy that he like asked if he could go back to. Yeah. And then I think the same exact guy at some point was like standing up, like asking to get shot. And he's like questioning, why am I not getting killed right now? You know, it's like who makes the choice of whether you live or die or stuff like I don't know, this movie was very much in its own like feelings mm -hmm. and like creatively trying to fuck with you, I guess. I don't know, it's, it's really hard to explain this movie in my opinion. Yeah, and I think with all of the different voiceovers that we got throughout the film, like you have, you kind of said, it feels like a journal entry of kind of what's going on. Obviously more kind of looking back, I think when they're kind of doing the end or the voiceovers, but you have like just these moments of being home or these moments of just like brotherhood between them or just little things that would kind of keep them going. And then on the other hand, you have these moments of just questioning everything. What are we doing here? And to see, you know, the leadership. I don't, what was the guy? Do you know what the guy's name was? One thing for sure is there was like 75 people in this movie. Thomas Jane showed up for like 10 seconds. They had George Clooney for like 15 seconds. Like they just threw everyone. John C. Riley was in this and had like two lines of dialogue. I mean, Woody Harrelson's gone pretty quickly. Yeah, I totally forgot Woody Harrelson was in this. That so was a like, sad death. That was a, yeah, that was crazy how that happened. But no, I don't remember the guy. So we're gonna have to just reference people in a weird way because I don't remember a single person's name or anything. Yeah, so the original guy who told Nick Nolte no. Yeah. Yeah. So for his guys, like I feel like that conversation hit me hard when he was essentially saying goodbye to his team and for them to kind of take a moment and be like, thank you, like you saved us. And he did like you have Nick Nolte that isn't in it. Like he wasn't up there with them. He doesn't know what's happening. And for this like true leader of his platoon his whatever yeah company, squad yeah I don't know. to like assess the situation and he wasn't just saying no like he's like no we're not gonna do this he was offering an alternative way to get around and obviously them just sitting and waiting for nick nolte to get up there things completely changed in that time yeah it might have helped the situation right so in waiting he regardless of what was going to happen or wasn't gonna happen things completely changed just in that time of waiting. Yeah. But for his team to like see him fighting for them was huge. And we talk about morale so much in this and just like the ups and downs of everything, but seeing that leadership and how that all came into play, I feel like that was massive. And then same with like Wit taking the initiative to be the one to go out with Adrian Brody and that other guy. Yeah. You just see those like moments of like heroes. 
There were a lot of moments of heroic moments and they all came for slightly different reasons or something like you had Sean Penn who ran out to give the guy the morphine. Yeah. You had the one guy who I think was with, I think it's Jim Caviezel is the main guy who we kind of follow who starts at the island. Who, that's wit mm -hmm. okay so he had like a big friend guy he survived but there was like a moment when they were trying to take the bunker where like he charged mm -hmm. to like draw the fire so that they would not be pinned down anymore obviously like you said wit going with adrian brody and sacrificing himself at the end to kind of draw everyone in a different direction mm -hmm. the sacrifice of saying no and understanding that there probably could have been severe consequences to that. Right. There was a lot that people did to be heroic and there was a lot of throwing out there of like, oh, I'm gonna nominate you for a medal and nom and it almost seemed like no one gave a shit, especially like Sean Penn when he was like, shut the hell up. Like, I didn't do that for a medal. I did that because this guy is dying and screaming. Yeah. So it was just uh, strange how all of the different heroic moments came about because a lot of these people or just the surrounding people, they were fucking terrified. So many of the people in this movie were scared, terrified, didn't know what to do. They were completely lost. They were just surrounded by this nature and they had no clear direction. And I feel like that combines with like the chaos and confusion of the fight scenes. Like I love the charging of like the village, mm -hmm. especially with the, the sound design and the music, but that was like so spread out. Like everyone was mixed in with everyone. Mm -hmm. You were running in all different directions. There was people everywhere. There was people surrendering. There was people fighting. Like it was not some like clear line mm -hmm. in the sand or something. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that was the whole movie. It's just like you were just surrounded by unknown and potential death. There was just this whole feeling of like uneasiness from start to finish of this movie. Yeah, I completely agree. It doesn't feel heroic or anything. Like, I don't even really know, were they super successful? I mean, they took that village, but was that it? Some people were heroic, but I don't feel like this movie ends on like a heroic note. No. It still feels like a somber moment. Even like that one random guy at the end who was talking about like, I'm ready for things to start getting better. Like things have been terrible for too long. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely feels like an anti-war movie. Yeah, I would say so because it was just calling into questioning so much. And even like these brief moments, we had two main flashbacks, one with like a wife and one with this village. None of those are coming true. Yeah, I mean, we're not getting back to that for wit. Yeah. That was devastating with his wife. That letter, all of it was just like, what? <laughs> he's been pining after you this entire time that he's been gone and she just found somebody else. Yeah, sorry, I'm lonely. I fell in love with someone else. Yeah. You see each other soon. Like, no, the only way he sees you if he comes back to kill you and your new husband. My favorite thing about this movie was the sound design. Yeah. It could make or break, I don't want to say make or break, but I guess it could really set the tone for any moment and those moments of like suspense and just quiet. For me, the standout was the village, like a tax scene. Like it sounded like there was like this like ticking clock and mm -hmm. stuff and there was all of this smoke and fog and you couldn't see anything, but you knew that both sides were like right there. And then the whole music as you're like charging through the village was crazy. But then you also had the like attack on the hill where it's like you would have two people just having a conversation and everything would be super muffled and yes. muted and you could hear firing and gunshots. And then that would be like in between a conversation of two people, you would just cut to like a bunch of people getting blown up or someone just sitting like next to dead body and like screaming or something, but you couldn't hear anything. And then it would just go back to these just two people sitting right behind some like hill just talking. Yeah, and I think that comes into play with seeing a lot of like the fear and everything in it because you're just in it, but you're not fully there. You have to just like only focus on like one thing kind of because if you pay attention to everything, you would just get overwhelmed. You would just look around Which and Which a just, lot of people were. A lot of people were. Yeah. So I feel like that combines with the fact that, you know, some people you just had to like tune it out focus on what you were doing, and then try to do the next thing. Right. So I think the sound design of this movie was brilliant. I loved it. It was suspenseful when it needed to be. It was quiet, and that added to the suspense and like hauntingness of it. Then you had the brief cuts of like nature, which kind of make you feel like, what the hell are we doing? Especially yeah. like cutting to like the village where they're just singing and dancing and living this lifestyle that was envious for some of the guys. 
it just makes you question everything. So very weird war movie. Definitely have not seen anything like this. And I think it stands by itself. I'm sure there's maybe other stuff that may, might be similar. I think what we've seen on the channel is a lot more action and like objective based. Whereas this was just like, we're just here on this island and everyone's fucking going through it. Extremely unique film. I mean, if I had to say there was like a similar feeling at least to anything that we've watched, I would maybe say like Apocalypse Now. I was, yeah. When you started that sentence, I was like, I wonder if she's going to say Apocalypse Now. Yeah. I think Apocalypse Now is still a little bit more focused on what's going on. But there are those moments where you just kind of are in the world that they are currently in. Yeah. And they're both very dark, but they're different darks. And there is a lot of this like questioning and the dialogue of this movie, especially like the narration. I have no idea what anyone is saying. It just it's like just random thoughts I feel like yeah I mean there's so many different people so there's just so much like individuality of like what they're feeling in those moments yeah and I feel like some of the stuff especially I think what that's Marlon Brando I mm -hmm. think in some of the stuff he says it's like I don't know what you're saying like <laughs> I'm sure you're making a point I don't know what your point is but I'm sure you're making one I got the same vibe of this movie yeah so yeah I, I would say those two are are the most similar in terms of what we've seen. Yeah, so I mean, this was very dark, very unique, still beautiful, but depressing. <laughs> like <laughs> there's just like a lot of different emotions into it, but wow, that was quite the film. Yeah, definitely an experience. And I feel like I've seen that director before, Terrence Malick, I think. It sounds familiar, like maybe he's done something crazy or big or something. I'm gonna have to look it up mm -hmm. after, but yeah, that was an experience for sure. I can't believe that I'd never heard of this considering that cast. This cast was insane. Yeah, and I guess, you know, a lot of people told us it was kind of overshadowed by Saving Private Ryan coming out around the same time, but two extremely different movies. Oh yeah, no, pointless to compare these two films. No, yeah. Yeah, to compare this with Saving Private Ryan. Right. But that was quite an experience of a film. Yeah, incredible. So thank you to everyone that recommended this to us. Definitely, if you haven't seen it, you're just watching our reaction, it's worth a watch. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.